What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Chopper, bringing you my favorite bet of the day. It's Thursday, August 24th in the sports world. We're going to look at the lines, see what's on the board, and we're going to put one bet on the board immediately today to get the card started. There'll be more later, of course. But in the meantime, let's see what we can find, and let's see what we got going on here at Odd Chopper. All things betting. The like button. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you've been with us yesterday. I went to the Yankees. I wasn't scared. Every Oh, they've lost nine straight. Yeah, well, they were up 9 nothing. Judge. He took care of business for me. Uh, a 9-1 win. Severino was fantastic. I'd be lying if I expected that. Uh, but just a sweat-free win. That's what we want to see. Beautiful, beautiful thing. And that's what we're going to try to do today in the Reds and Diamondbacks game. I've got it on the screen. I got a weird angle for you today. It's not an easy thing. But before I do that, let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the stuff that can really, really help you. What do I mean by that? I mean Caesar Sportsbook. It doesn't mean that you have to move all your action over there. In fact, you shouldn't. You should have... Money on as many books as you can. It's essential to being a profitable better. And Caesars is one of them. If you don't play over there and you're a new user, think about putting in 50 bucks and betting it. When you do that, what are you going to get? $250 in bonus bets. It's it's an increment of $50 a week. So what does this mean? Let's do, do it real quick. Use the link below. You sign up for Caesars. You take 50 bucks and you bet it on anything. If you win, that's great. Even if you lose every week, you will get a $50 bonus bet for five straight weeks. That's five shots at a free $50 bonus bet. Uh, obviously, you got to be 21 plus. If you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. This is a great opportunity to build the bankroll. Even if you convert on a couple of those, you have extra money for football. Take advantage of that today. It's not going to be here forever. Again, link below. Take the two minutes and make yourself some money in bonus bets. And then let's see what else we got today. We got the Reds and we got the Diamondbacks. I'm going to the first five. I'm over on FanDuel right now. First five run line. I'm going to lay a half a run with the Diamondbacks. I really couldn't find an angle that I wanted in this full game. All the other games I didn't like whatsoever. And I started to drill down. And the thing I felt most confident about was Merrill Kelly. And we'll get to him in a second. But it really correlated to the first five. And again, we have to lay some juice. There's no doubt about it. But this is the right number, in my opinion. Let's talk about these teams. Good teams. This is a real series. This is no joke. The Reds are 67 and 61, 36 and 27 on the road. That's very impressive. Uh, obviously, they're playing good. They are in the thick of the wild card race, as are the Diamondbacks. They're just coming off a sweep of the Angels on the road, but they do have to continue the road trip. I think that's a much tougher spot than people may anticipate. You have to go series to series like that on the road uh, without any drop off. They've been outstanding on the road. Brandon Williamson gets the ball. Let's talk about him. He's four and three with a 4.47, two and one with a 4.79 on the road. He's fine. Very standard. I'm not worried about him. I'm not scared of it. It's just kind of is what it is. I expect him to be fine. And I think that the Diamondbacks can push across a couple runs early, and that's going to be all they need. Why? Because this team is a quality team, too. 66 and 61, 32 and 21 at home. Very, very solid. They're in the thick of the race again. Uh, just really, really strong team uh, that needs these type of wins. You can't expect to make the playoffs if you don't have quality outputs against the teams that you're chasing. There's just no doubt about that. So when I look at this team, when I look at this squad, uh, I really like what I see. By the way, just one quick thing, 32 and 31 at home, not 32 and 21. As I say, did they not play enough games? 32 and 31, but that's regardless. I know who gets the ball tonight, and it's Merrill Kelly. 10 and 5 with a 3.13. 3 and 4 with a 3.27 at home. Opponent batting average of just 200. All the splits look really nice. A 2.70 in August in terms of earn run average. He's throwing quality starts out there. He hasn't gotten a lot of run support. I mean, again, it's not the end all be all, but if you check out his game log, so many games, 4-3, four, 4-2, three, four, 3-1. Uh, it's not great for them. But again, some of that is just variance. And in, in a first five situation, it's much less important because he can just throw, you know, he can blank them. Um, and obviously the Diamondbacks have to score. We're laying a half a run, but I think they'll be able to produce uh, at least a few here against Williamson. The other thing, barring something really bad, we're getting Kelly for our entire outing here. He's gone five, at least five in every single start beginning in April, which is basically all the starts. He had one start before that. Like the guy is going to go deep in the game for us. And that's what we want. We don't want to be worrying about bullpen. We want our guy on the mound the entire time. And I think we get that tonight. So I look at it. Minus 140 to lay a half run. I'm comfortable with that. It was a little hard to shop this. 
just because not every book offers the first five. And this is the angle that I wanted. You can find better. Absolutely. I'm not sure I go much higher than this. Uh, I think this is basically around the right number for me to fire. And that is what I've done here on the Diamondbacks to be leading after that first five. They got to do it because we're laying the half line. If we if it's one, one, zero, zero, we lose. And I'm OK with that. But there you have it. Put the Diamondbacks on the board again. If you have any questions, anything at all at Jazz DFS. Love doing this video. Of course, college football is rapidly approaching. You're going to see plenty of that. If you're looking for college football prep, you came to the right place. Check out the videos on this very channel, betting you and everything that we've got going on. But in the meantime, let's win some money here with the Diamondbacks in the first five. For me, for the snakes in the desert, good luck and joy. Let's get a win. We'll do it again tomorrow.